Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we're continuing our campaign through Napoleon Total War and we have an army already and we'll bring them to the port is there anything that I want to leave behind? not really I will take them over here and I will take this Highland uh, footman and then I'll take the ship how do I want to do this? Like we can land in the port, like there are a few ways in which we can do this, like landing in port and occupying like these villages or these centers doesn't mean that you take over this territory, so you just need to take over the capital. It's like in France of Britannia. So I'm going to come around here, have this army embark. And then I'll take the ship. And I will bring them over here. And there we have it. So this would throw us in a battle. We have the superiority here. There's not a... It's just armed citizens and one regiment of the line. We can fight them without having to... Like we can take them over without having to fight them. You can see they're willing to surrender and that is because we have overwhelming forces. We can wait for them to starve out, we can start... We can go directly in the battle, but for the moment I don't really need to auto-resolve these because in this game replenishment does not happen automatically. You spend money in order to recruit new troops. So, as much as I can for early on, I prefer demand surrender, and what that does is the troops that he had inside the city, they will move away, they will get a chance to move away. And here we get the normal stuff, either peaceful occupation, which will give a decent public order, and this is the region wealth, or we can loot it, which will create a lot of angry people but we will get some money out of it. We'll do peaceful occupation. We want to have a good starting point here in France. Uh, let's see. At this moment, this port is occupied by this cavalry. Mm, let's move the... We'll have to move the ship away after a while. And uh, let's see. Is there anything else that I could do here? This is just a fusilier. And I am trying to find a character to assassinate using our spy. So let's bring him around. Let's scout the area. Paris. We can take Paris. If it doesn't bring any of his armies up here, I think during the next turn we will attack Paris. Well, this is going to be easy. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to upgrade anything for the moment. Where are we at and what should I be doing? As far as the money goes, we don't have a lot of money. I could start thinking about recruiting some troops in here. Maybe some line infantry to begin with. And with these ships... This ship is almost destroyed, so... I don't really want to keep it with us. And these ships... Yeah, they're not in the best position either, so how about we go here? If I stop the recruitment, I still won't have enough money, but maybe I'll wait until next turn to get this going, to get a shipyard. Can I repair the ships? No. We need to have, we need to have a port. So I'll just keep this inside the port, try to repair it, try to repair them. And I feel like for right now that is pretty much it. Let's end the turn. Okay, it's 
seems like they've gathered an army in France. Mm. I think I have to gather my ships here in the north as well, because France is moving up. I wonder if I could show CPU moves. Let's do. Let's take those off. That would mean that I have to open my eyes clearly to know in which situations we find ourselves in. And okay, now I have a market, I have a mine that should increase our income. Yeah, two, three, four, five, six. So let's take this navy. And I will take this navy. And I'm not sure it's going to be enough. Let's see, on the naval recruitment, all of these, like, they take 5 turns for 38 cannons. What does he have in here? He has a few armies. Can I sabotage? Sabotage army. Sabotage a building. Let's try to sabotage. Your agent has failed and mis to mislead the forces, but has escaped undetected. Okay. What you don't want to do, and this is something to be careful of, you don't want to leave your s agents in the city when you attack them. There is a possibility that you will kill them if you do so. Let's see. Okay. They have two enemy agent to ge enemy gentleman in the city so do we have the army in here okay. let's see I think if I move out there will be a certain amount of garrison left there let's try to take over Paris that would be an early win they, you can see that they won't surrender. We have the advantage, but they do have a bunch of cannons. They do have some young guard, which is an elite infantry, and the rest are militia. So let's do a quick save here and start the assault. And I don't think he had a four there, so we're fighting in open ground. That's why we get this kind of position. Otherwise, it would be a fort in here. And we would have... Uh, we could fight all around. You can see it here. We have the town. Pretty simple. Uh, pretty simple. But And in these areas, in these farmhouses, you can send troops. And they can fire from the windows. Uh, the best way to take on these troops is actually to rush inside the buildings with your bayonets and take them down. Now let's see, how did they deploy? Armed citizenry... And... More armed citizenry... And it's on the right side that they put their most elite troops with a cannon. And I guess another cannon up here with the young guard. No, with citizenry. Okay. So over here it's not going to matter too much. If I bring them through the forest, forests are a good defense against them. And I think I will take especially the cavalry and bring them through the forests. We have some horse guards in here. Square formation is a good way to protect yourself from cavalry charges from all sides. Basically they will form a square and everybody looking out. If I was to deploy this, how far are we shooting? Well, we're shooting pretty far. I could definitely take 
his cavalry and then I will have to bring back our cannons. Let's see. I want to see if I can take out his cavalry. Over on this side. Yeah, we'll bring these guys in the forest. And with the rest, with these more elite troops. I think I will put them on this side, make something along these lines. This is our light infantry. The light footmen have less numbers, but they do have a bigger range. So they have a 100 range, while these only have 80. Most of the troops have only 80. So you can get to do with them some sort of uh, harassment. Right, you do some skirmishing, you shoot, you retreat, you shoot, you retreat, and they can't get to you, but you get to them. You're trying to bait them out, maybe. You're trying to take out some of them, their more elite troops. And the other cool thing about them is that they have this light infantry behavior, which is spreading the troops, right? This is especially good against the cannons of the enemy, right? So do this. have these more elite troops on the right side and after that we'll have these guys which will pretty much need to go for the forests let's start the battle bring them through the forests take our cavalry to pretty much the same Cannons, I want you to fire upon that guy. Ooh, that was a pretty good hit there. Okay. He's going in the forest, which is a good idea as well. When it comes to cannons, I am going to walk them there and bring the rest of them behind. When it comes to cannons, there are basically two types, I would say. I, I might not be right on that. But there's there are cannons like this, which fire straight straight ahead. And there are like bombards, how howitzers few other types of cannons which uh, like they they can fire with a, a bit of an arc and those are very useful at at taking out um, or shooting over hills because you can see that when we shot with our cannons because here there's a slight hill you don't really get to hit well enough. enemy general killed one of these? Yeah, I'm guessing one of the young guards. Okay. Um, seems like they're advancing towards us. You have to be careful. You can shoot your own troops with your cannons and your cannons will not stop <laughs> at all. So be very careful with that. I like that he's advancing. But because he's advancing, I don't think I want to stay in the forest with the cavalry. I think what I'll do is that I'll retreat. Are we engaged? We're gonna be engaged soon here. Uh, yeah. Ooh. As you can see here, we did hit some of our troops. retreat a bit we don't want our troops to be fired upon let's start shooting at this guy the young guard yeah they're trying a bit of a charge here I think it's not going to work too well 
Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, wait. You. Sit still and start firing as you do the same. This cavalry, I want them to go after those cannons. Let's put you in here. Yeah. As you can see, the, the young guard is taking some damage, as are we. These are pretty strong troops of Napoleon. Let's bring this line forward, as I will do with this line as well. They've broken there. I am going to bring more troops through the forest. Like here is not great to shoot, uh, to fight with your. Uh, it's not great to fight with your range troops, as you can imagine. And look at this. These kind of gunpowder clouds is really amazing. I really love this part of it. What do they have there? Uh, some guards of Cheval. They're almost out there. Here we're flanking them. So they don't have a whole lot of strong troops. Let's bring more line infantry forward. Uh, let's move you forward as well. Bring these guys in. Let's see. Let's try to shoot with these ones as well. And you do want to space out your infantry a little bit. The reason why is because there is such a thing as friendly fire. Like if you have two of these infantry troops one behind another you will get many chances where you will shoot your own troops and you don't really want that I mean I'm guessing you don't really want that let's take the cavalry and I am going to bring them all around here so I'll take one of these on this side I will take another one to to take on his cannons. These are for infantry. Like there are different troops who can place down obstacles, I would say. Probably the right word for it. Like spikes. Uh, you can place down spikes, you can place down uh, traps for cavalry. Apparently they decided to charge on us. Apparently so. Uh, oh, they really brought... Let's charge these armed citizenry. We're in melee, right? We're gonna do that. Okay, we're still shooting at them through here. Okay, we took out his cavalry, so let's go forward towards his cannons. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Yeah, I know. We said... we asked him to attack. You have to be careful with your general. It can die pretty easily. But I feel like against these armed citizenry, they won't really... It won't really matter. So I'm just giving him a bit of experience. Okay, things are looking good now. We took some casualties, but nothing major. Our cannons... Uh, I guess they could start shooting these. Our men are running, sir. What happened here? Did we go through... Yes, we went through the spikes. I forgot about some of this behavior. Let's bring this cavalry around. I will want to attack this armed citizenry. Glorious victory, yeah, let's go after his cannon there. Yours. 
So yeah, most of his troops has, have already broken. Let's bring ours here. Let's move more of them forward. So this is pretty much it. Like you are inching your troops forward. Like you're trying to, to get some quick attacks. Well... To, uh, in order to break the enemy, like there's, there's a lot you can do, and your troops don't break uh, as easily. Like they don't leave the battle. As you can see, they came back for a bunch of times. Let's go for here. Let's bring these guys around. We're gonna charge at them, we're gonna try to break them. Yeah, let's continue over here. They don't have a lot of accuracy, these armed citizenry, so not too afraid of them. Are they tired? Uh, let's stop firing with the cannons because we might be able, we might take on our troops. And I think that's pretty much it. Do we see any other troops? No. So at this point, let's end the battle. We lost how many? We lost 362 troops, they've lost 2,000. And we just got Paris. The thing about capital cities is that they take a lot to peace, to pacify. So yeah, let's do a peaceful occupation. And so it's going to be a bit of a pain to to keep this in order like we will have to repair this building let's see do i want i do want this at least it's a very good city overall like we could get a, a few extra line infantry which i do like could get some extra roads for the replenishment as well Oh no, they do replenish, apparently. What doesn't, then? Ships, I guess, they don't repair and I need to manually repair them? Yes. Ah, okay. So I thought that we needed to pay to, re to retrain the troops, but apparently it's not. I guess that was in Rome Total War, like the old one. What do we have here? Well... We have another manufactory, we can go ahead and add a gunsmith because these at the maximum level will reduce the cost for recruiting armies. We have a lumber mill. What else do we have here? Stables. Overall I don't see the... F I see a French army in here. I see another part of the French army in here, but I'm not sure where the rest of the troops are. Hmm. That's a bit weird, but maybe I don't remember exactly. Hopefully the difficulty is not that low. Uh, they're demanding our surrender with this amount of troops? No. I mean, we don't have a lot of troops either. But I don't think he can take me. Now let's see. So Cayenne is besieged. We get a worker strike in Normandy. Yep, we only have some armed citizenry here as well. This has been repaired. 
still don't have a fort they'll be able to attack us with this army if we don't do anything about it I could take a few units like cavalry and two line infantry here and we could go ahead and attack him And as you can see now we will have to fight a bit of a battle we're using the armed citizenry and also these. It doesn't give us the best chances. You can have your friends drop in or find a human opponent. Now unfortunately the game is pretty old, you won't find a lot of people just waiting for drop in battle. But if you have a friend and you want to play with them and you don't want to ju just to have the AI fighting you. You can have him play with you and drop in these battles, which could be pretty fun. It's definitely a lot better to play against a human opponent than otherwise. Uh, we're still attacking from the exterior, which is a bit weird, but what can you do? Yeah, let's bring you around here. As we will do with the cavalry, Girl, and we have a few up. wet powder makes misfires a certainty. Armed citizens behind, which I think I'm gonna take one inside this farmhouse, and I am going to take one inside the other farmhouse. And we're going to work to use that to our advantage. Let's speed it up. I don't want to run, make them run because that will tire them out. I really like the music. It's quite impressive. I'm gonna try to bring the cavalry through here just to be able to charge at these guys we have taken a building sir we've taken a building do we have yes as you can see we have enough range to be firing from here it's very important like how many windows are exposed one way to attack a house if you're if you want to shoot at it you can shoot from this side and it it's going, they're gonna take more damage while they can't shoot as much. Which is a bit weird in a way, but... We have taken a building, sir. Okay, now we have that building taken over. And they're gonna get shot. Which is great. Okay, it seems like they've turned around, so let's come forward and start shooting at them. Uh, I will evacuate these troops from the house and bring them to their sites. At some point there is a research which will make them fire in lines basically. This will shoot, then they will sit down while they reload their weapons and the line in the back is coming forward to shoot and then they reload and the other ones shoot. It's a really interesting tactic. Okay. As you can see over here like we have multiple windows so they are able to shoot from from multiple uh, parts, I guess. Okay, let's put ourselves in a square formation here, because he's threatening us with his cavalry. At this point, I'm going to bring my cavalry forward. As you can see, this so this is the formation. These guys are sitting in front with their bayonets, 
if the cavalry wants to charge in, they'll be they're getting stabbed. And the line at the top is shooting Sir. at them. Sir, our general is under attack. Yes, yes, do not worry. Okay, that guy is out. And let's charge at him now. Now I, I want maybe to support them by throwing our troops in melee. I don't want to shoot at it because friendly fire once again. Stray shots, not that, not that great for our troops. There we go. And battle. Strength. And now we free the area. Let's see, how are things here? The lower class are a bit angry. We are at 6 and next turn we're going to go to 5. Some repression is going away as well, but the ruling class is a bit more indifferent. Like, they're fine. They might not be great, but they're okay. And let's see, on the recruitment side... I really feel like bringing in some light infantry into the midst. Okay, they're gentlemen. Now if we go to research, because we do have a second college, is we can ask them to research something different. And what can we do? Well, minus five upkeep for the army. Like We have pretty much the same thing somewhere up here, right? Fire and advanced drill, that could be useful. More replenishment, more army movement on the campaign map, that is important as well. More wealth from farms, plus one to repression in all regions by going this way. Yeah, so this one is with the minus five upkeep to all. And how much are we paying now in upkeep? 5,000? Okay, so we're gaining about 500 in income at a 1300 income per turn that is not bad but i think i would go forward and try to get something that will push our military as well maybe we'll take some of the logistics reducing recruitment enable inspire ability on our generals and get a drill school I guess for now I'm just going to take logistics, get that extra movement on the campaign map, which will come in handy. Let's... we cannot afford to repair the ship, the shipyard yet. Yeah, and over here... Yeah, it's going to take a lot, we're going to lose money if we don't tax them. But even that wouldn't make them too happy. It's definitely hard to keep Paris hours uh, this early on. With this ship. Let's see, could I take these ships on? Uh, yes, I guess I could. But we will have to fight this tomorrow on a brand new episode of Napoleon Total War. I hope you love this or you like this introduction into the game and you'll see how the game evolves as we move further ahead. Now until tomorrow I thank you very much for watching and I wish you all to have a wonderful day.